Let's take a look at the markets. Okay, so we knew this level right here. This level was given last week, I believe Tuesday, last Tuesday, this level up here, the target was 2021 on crude oil. We had a big gap in the market, big giant gap between my level, my supply demand levels. Look at that big gap, huge gap, 250 tick gap. So we talked about going level to level. We know we want to go from this level. 1781 to the next level 2020 now we're creating a double top up here double top at 2020 we won't get excited on breaking out of 2020 until we got a speed bar that goes through this level that's a two candle close or less on my trend boxes once we get through that then we'll go to the next level which is right here big giant move possibly right here too look at that look at that big giant move Potential 2244 from 2220. Another 220 tick possible move on crude. So we knew coming through, we talked about this yesterday, talked about this last week, talked about this Wednesday. I said we get through that 1780 level. Major, major level to the upside. Yesterday it tried it. And then it got back down below it, retested it, came all the way back down to my level again. It, it stopped right at my level and took off the speed bar here and here. Had a one, two, three bottoms at that specific level that we talked about yesterday. We talked about that level early in the morning before it hit. And then it came down, tested again, broke out, and it just took off. So now what we'll do is we're going to try to trade. Remember, there's... Here's how you got to do it. Talk about the methodology. We're waiting to break out here at 20, 20. One, you find the trend. The trend is up. Moving averages are worthless, but they're great for trend direction. We've been up. Moving averages have been up. I'll show you that in a second. Two, we find the levels. Where's the levels at? Where's the major supply and demand? Where was the accumulation distribution the last couple days, last week, etc.? We find the level. That's those big supply demand levels. Three. We got our level now. Now we want speed in the market. Show me a speed bar. Less than two candle close inside of my speed boxes. We got that at 745 this morning for this big giant move up. I'll show you that in a second. Four. Once we get speed in the market, let's look for a full retracement. Now, if I got speed in the market, they're trying to take the stops out of all the shorts. Let's look for a full retracement. Full retracement, my oscillator below. I'll show you how to do it in a second. And then five, let's look for an entry. Entry would be a green candle close or positive market delta, which is green. Stop is two ticks below, two ticks below that swing low. There you go. We do that every day. So we look for trend. Trend. All right. Where's the trend? Here we go. Trend is up. Look at this. Trend is up. Moving average up. Let's take a look. Here's my trend chart. Moving averages are up right here. Started right there at 738 this morning. I tell traders all the time, these are futures markets. These are not individual stocks. We do not have to wait till 9.30 at the New York Open. Typically by 9.30, you miss a lot of good moves. As a futures trader, the majority of your trades, 80 to 90% of your trades, unless you trade the S&P 500 and NASDAQ, you get some good afternoon trades in the Dow Minis, are between 7.45 all the way till 10.30, usually 10 o'clock. So it's two hours, two and two hours and fifteen minutes. That's really your time to look at these markets. You're typically done by nine o'clock in the morning or nine thirty, usually two or three out of five days a week. We usually trend three, chop two. What you want to do is this. Let's look at this. Very simple. Number one, I want to find the trend. Right. Let's bring these over real quick. Should we got this down. 
Look at these again. Muscle memory, trend, level, speed, full retracement, entry. Let's go over it. Here we go. The trend is up. Moving averages are worthless. Do not like them at all unless you use them for trend direction. Can't use them for crossovers or lagging indicators. So this is a very leading indicator system. There's a moving average crossover. My trend box is green. Green means trend up. We got two trend filters saying we are going higher. <clears throat> trend is up. Moving averages are crossed. That's number one, trend. Got to have trend. Number two, level. Where's my levels? Are we going to have any resistance if I got speed coming in the market? Do I have any resistance above me since the trend is up? Do you see any resistance from here to here? So my speed comes in. My speed bars actually start right there, which is a two candle close or below inside of a closed trend box. Then I got speed bar, speed bar, speed bar, speed bar, speed bar, speed bar, all the way up. So trend is up. Where's my levels? We talked about this for a week. We said, listen, I said, if we get through 201780, I got no resistance above me to 2020, 250 tick possible move to the upside. We talked about this yesterday too. Then my level caught the exact low down there also. So we knew the level's good. So we got trend up, level good. So let's check these off. We got trend up, trend is up, level is good, no resistance above us until 2020. It's happened at 7.45 this morning, just happened. Level is good. Then what we're going to do, okay, we got the trend up. Moving averages are up on my trend filter, my longer time frame. My levels are good because we knew if we break out of 1790, I got no resistance above me to 2020. I want speed now. Speed's characterized by my trend boxes here. My trend boxes are absolutely dynamic because they are leading a leading indicator. So we know if I get a two-candle close inside of a trend box, here, trend starts up. There's my first two candle close this morning. Right there. Right at 7.45 this morning. That's when we like to start trading from 7.45 to 10.30 in the morning. That told me right there, look for a full retracement. So what I want to do now is I got my speed then. My speed bar comes in. So I got my trend. My level's good. My speed's now good in the market. So now we got speed in the market, which is good. Speed is good. Taking stops out of counter trend traders. Now what do we want to do? We want to look for what? Full retracement. So now what we can do, it's a larger time frame. I look for my, my trend on the larger time frame. I look for my levels on the larger time frame. I look for my speed on the larger time frame. Now I can look for a full retracement. What you can do is after this at 745, let's check down to our smaller time frames. Now I need a full retracement. My full retracement, it's got to get below 10%. Here's your exact low. You get below 10%, my oscillator below, full retracement. There's my full retracement oscillator. We're at a full retracement. I want to look for a red bar for pullbacks or the first green reversal bar, and there you are. There's your exact bar entry, stop loss, two ticks below the swing low. We get a second opportunity, full retracement. Remember, I have no resistance above me, none, until 2020. So this is still a good level. 1930 is still a good level. I got still 70 ticks upside. I still have 70 ticks of upside at this level. I still have 70 ticks of upside. 
So it's a great retracement level. There you go. Another full retracement at this level. I still got what? I still got 40 ticks of upside. $400 potential trade. 40 ticks of upside. Another great level. So you can see those are your three nice entries. One, caught the low, caught the low, caught the low. You want to lay off of them when you're getting what? Close to what? The 20 level. My 2020 level is here at my, uh, my supply demand line. So 2020 level is right there. So I can still, I got a still good reward to risk here for another one if you want to take it. Still good reward to risk. We can close. Sorry, right here. This one we have another 20 tick upside. Now you need to lay off because now you only got a one-to-one -one reward to risk. Now I've only got a one-to-one one, one -one reward to risk. Why? Because if my stop on a 5 Simrico is a maximum 15 ticks, well, it doesn't take someone very great at math to understand if you only got 20 tick upside and you got a 15 tick stop, you're about a one-to-one -one reward to risk, right? So now you got to lay off. It's time to lay off. Now we lay off. We've had one, two, three, four opportunities right here. This one. You had an eight to eight to one reward to risk. This one. You had almost a six and a half one reward to risk. This one. Almost a three and a half reward to risk. This around one and a half reward to risk is still good. Now you lay off. Stop loss, two ticks below the swing low, two ticks, two ticks, two ticks, two ticks. So what we did is we essentially did everything that we needed to do. We looked for trend, moving averages up, trend box green, speed, less than two candle close inside of my large time frame. Level was good, no resistance. Speed boxes came in, level good, full retracement, you're good to go. Smaller time frame. Now, here's the kicker, guys. If you want to trade off the 5 sim for these entries off the larger time frame with the speed boxes, they're great. But check this out. This is what sold it right here. This is what sold it. The great thing about these markets are electronically traded markets. Our opinions are worthless, but, man, they leave their footprint. Don't they leave their footprint? Check this out. My favorite candle close is a one candle close inside of a closed trend box. This is how the smaller time frame can help you trading even off the five Simrinko. If I get a one candle close inside of a closed trend box and trend is up, it's a major possible push to the upside. I'm talking major. We have two candle closes here, so these are all retracement trades. Retracement trade, entry, caught the low, entry, caught the low. But look at this. One candle close inside of a closed trend box. This is an ultimate confirmation for an entry right there. One, ca two candle, two candle, two candle, one candle. They're trying to push the market higher. If that's a huge imbalance of orders to the upside, one candle closes to mean there's a big imbalance. Those two trades, 746, and 749 were the ultimate levels to get in because a smaller time frame convert, uh, uh, confirmed it. Let's look at it. 745, right around 750, 749. So these two levels, 745, 745. that retracement. And 750, those two retracements, the three sim confirmed it with a major buy imbalance. There and there. That's how you can use a small time frame with the five sim. So all three time frames work together, right? Because you got the nine sim ratio telling you about your trend. Right here. I got the nine right in order. I got market profile over here for if you want confirmation. I got the 9 sim ratio, the 5 sim, 3 sim. It's not hard to understand. You, you look for trend is up. 
Level's good. I got no resistance. Speed. Speed's good. I got two candle close, two candle close, two candle close. Look for the full retracement. Full retracements come off my five and three sim. My three sim confirms it with the one candle close on my five sim entries. Those are the best trades you're going to have in any market you trade. This works on all markets. It's the same exact setup, period. Same exact setup. All right, that's how you trade our system.